Ray, and I'm getting ready for my trip to Montana. Hopefully going to Yellowstone and see all those sites over there. Uh, and I'm about to go through my bag, uh, make sure I got everything I need on my trip there. But word of advice, if you're going to have a ride to take you to the airport, be sure to let them know a few days in advance so that they can make their plans accordingly. I did not do that, and I don't have a ride. But I think I'll still be able to make do. So, we'll see. I'm actually back from my trip, and I'm going to show you the bag that I left out with and the bag that I came home with and the different storage capacities that each of them had. To avoid paying for check-in baggage, I just took a carry-on bag, and this group right here is the what I was able to contain in a red bag. And what I would have done differently is instead of taking an extra pair of shorts, I would have taken a, another pair of pants. And I had a set of thermals. I would have grabbed a second set since they're light and compact and easy to pack. I did not have any troubles with taking over-the-counter medicine or prescription medicine, which I kept in there with it. Uh, on top of that, I would suggest taking a bandana to wrap your eyes up with and uh, earplugs so you can get some sleep on the plane ride. And as far as your toiletries go, you need to have them in a clear bag so that uh, they can be seen by TSA. You can't have anything over 100 milliliters. You got a couple things in here. They allow so much. Took some books for uh, reading purposes. And over here was a second set of uh, items that I came home with that I was able to pack into the larger bag. A handful of books and an air mattress pump, as well as a clock that I left at uh, friends. And since I was going to a cold place, I took a jacket. It's easy to wrap around your waist because I left from a pretty hot place. And while you're at TSA, you'll have to take off things like your belt and uh, anything in your pockets. Um, I carried a bottle with me while I was uh, on the plane. You can, As long as it's empty, you can take it past TSA and then fill it up. Um, leave your pocket knives and stuff at home. And I thought I lost these during my trip. I actually left them in my truck, but put them in a separate place that is safe in your carry-on bag. Leave them there the whole trip so you don't lose them. All right, made it to the airport. Uh, had a bit of a walk to get from my vehicle. Beware that they do not have uh, parking that is free per se because there's no sidewalks to go anywhere. So uh, look around. Uh, my flight should be leaving here in about two hours. Needed some extra time to get ready. If you need to find your way around, use one of these. Then find a check-in desk. They'll give you your ticket and then direct you to TSA. After getting past TSA, you'll have a chance to eat at restaurants or check out uh, gift shops, but you'll need to find your gate. Mine happens to be gate C4. If you experience a layover, just find your next gate. All right, I ran into my first hiccup on my trip. Um, I had to rent a vehicle, and they did not accept debit cards. So, or cash, or checks. So make sure to have a backup payment method. I was luckily able to find another car rental place, National, instead of Budget or Hertz, and they accepted mine. I never used my uh, credit card or my debit card for uh, credit, so... That may have been the issue there. Um, and they don't let other people pay for you over the phone, so you can't solve it that way either. Also, I forgot my GPS attachment, so I'm making my tripod the attachment right now. After I got off the airplane, got out of the airport, I went to a truck stop to get some sleep. And after about three hours worth, getting woke up in between, uh, it was cold, so I went to Walmart. They have bathrooms open at this time, and uh, you can find all the stuff you needed, because I needed a blanket and some food and stuff for this week. So, my trip pretty much begins right now. My first hike out of the park, really, taking me a break, top of this hill. You got a lot of scenery around here. All right, it's got too hot. These thermals got to come off. Yes, now that's a lot better. Done about 12 o'clock. Too hot.
All right, it's getting kind of late, so I'm getting ready to pack it in somewhere. Oh yeah, and look at the new uh, GPS holder I have now. I figured I'd give advice for those of you who want to go on vacation without uh, staying at a hotel. You want to get either a SUV or some camping gear, but you need to be weather aware. It's rained uh, a lot since I've been here on this trip, and it's also been pretty cold. So um, you want to be prepared for that. And also things such as bears, snakes, scorpions, depending on where you're at. I got an air mattress with a comforter as well as a tarp to help maintain more heat. A uh, good thing to consider. Stocked up on some food. And when you're choosing places to stay, you have a couple options. You got either uh, campgrounds, you have rest stops like where truckers stay. Um, you can try pull-offs or some parking lots. Here where I'm at is a parking lot to a trailhead, so I haven't been bothered here. And after a few days, you might want to consider going to a laundromat with a shower such as I did. Or if you can brace the cold water and lack of privacy, you could take a dip in the creek as well as rinse your clothes out here. This video has mainly just consisted of my practical advice, so whether you're planning a big vacation or you've been there and done that, I hope that I've been able to provide a little bit of advice for y'all, uh, being uh, for airports or travel or accommodations, just um, take what you need and leave what you don't. And anything y'all can do to support this channel, likes, comments, subscribes, that would be great. And just uh, God bless. Have a good one.